two ready. We pass ready, okay. You can talk that talk, but can you walk that walk? Sheer skill, sheer kickboxing and boxing skill. Now it's time to face the music. You've seen the rest, and now we're ready for the best. Power of the champions. We are the champions. We are the champions of the world, my friends. We'll keep on fighting to the end. There's no time for losing, because we are the champions of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. A bit of applause. Well, why not? Okay, on behalf of K-Sport, Mr. Joe Curcio, in association with Mr. Paul Silver Fox Byfield and the lovely Jenny Thomas, welcome you to a new era of boxing and kickboxing at the newly constituted Melbourne Sports and Aquatic Centre, right by the Formula One Grand Prix track here in Albert Park in Melbourne, the home of a sport in Australia. All of tonight's bouts have been endorsed, sanctioned and embraced by the Professional Boxing and Martial Arts Board at ringside. Not necessarily in alphabetical order, but Mr. Bob Todd, Mr. Bob McCarthy, Mr. Bernard Barmer and Michael McGuinness. I'm Howard Lee on behalf of Joe Curcio. Welcome to the centre ring for a night of the big guns of boxing, kickboxing. We'll be back in just a second with our opening bout. Don't go away. This could be the conquest of our generation. It's time for you to chill out. Let me guide you through your wildest dreams. Relax and dream away. When you've reached your highest state of consciousness, wake up and chill out. I am the God, the God of House. Ladies and gentlemen, K-Sport 
proudly presents the first part on our boxing kickboxing extravaganza here. Ladies and gentlemen, four rounds, USA rules, kickboxing, Senate lightweight. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome on my right, occupying the red corner, he is 22 years of age. He brings in a center ring, a record of four bouts, three wins, one loss. He made a big impression on the Michael Vukovic show at Spring Bow. He knocked or stopped Daniel Preston with the IKBF East Coast Featherweight Championship. Tonight's carrying 60.45 kilograms from St. Mary's, New South Wales, with his father, Gabe Carroll, joining Lucy Tui and Michael Vukovic in the corner. 60.45 kilograms, red trunks. Would you welcome Iron Mark Latham Karan? Karan. In the blue corner, twice voted the boxer of the tournament at Eden Guns. He brings in a center ring record of five bouts, four wins, one draw, unbeaten in kickboxing. 21 years of age, he is a Giska East Coast light welterweight champion, scaling 61.95 kilograms. Wearing total black trunks, he's part of Pat Christoffi's West Side Kickboxing Gymnasium. Would you welcome the pride of punch, Western wonder, Tony Antonio! Antonio! Ringside judges are Jill Lanciana, John Pascusi, and Ignatius Miscellanus. Your referee in charge of the action, four rounds, Malcolm Muller. And Nico Williams is your timekeeper, your ringside position, Dr. Eric Chu. Come to Sir Ring for final referee's instructions. Welcome to Sir Ring, gentlemen. Good luck, good fight, clean one. You had the instructions in the dressing room? Shake your hands now, come on, fighting at the bell, have the best man with Go, good luck, go to fight it. Boxing tonight. He's running into the spin. He's going the way it spins. We've got the double the power. We've got the double the power. 
In round three. Second out, four band, final round.
Andy Brown, Van Allen, Conway Footy Club. Playing the Hawks, what a big one tomorrow, no, that way, way. Big round of AFL football, seems like ages since we've had football in the Melbourne and in the state. State of origin, allies, you know, but Ron Reed from the Herald here. Big story, Ron, well done during the week. Thank you for supporting boxing, keep boxing. Raphael Lansdown, one of the billions of original promotions in Melbourne. Good to have you back. Raphael, come on, give a big round of applause. He was playing kickboxing 20 years ago. Great family of sportsmen, the Lanciano brothers. Frank, Joey, Raphael, brothers galore. Okay, we're just waiting. Yep, we're just waiting for Goran Danilovich to step in. Bump number two in our program. All right, our referee in charge of the action for battle number two on the K-Sport Battle of the Big Guns is promoter, coach, referee judge, Mr. Bryce Birdwhistle. Ladies and gentlemen, four rounds in the middleweight, kickboxing, USA rules, 10-point must system. Would you welcome occupying the red corner, proud of his European heritage. From North Dandenong, former WAKO Victorian and Isker Australian middleweight champion. Ten bouts, five wins, scaling 71.40 kilograms. With Yanos, Ray Trasic, Peter and Tom Adams. His mentors, would you welcome Goran Danger Man Danilovich. Danilovich in the blue corner. Across the ring in the red corner, proudly wearing the underworld, well, towel dressing gown, whatever you like, from Brunswick. He brings in a centering record of three bouts, two wins, scaling 70 for 1.50 kilograms. With his mentors, Paul, Paul Fayfield, Brendan the Pacer, and Tony Tocasio, wearing gold with black. Tiger's colors, would you welcome Parry, the preacher, Nicolau. Four rounds, referee Bryce Quickwizzle to give final instructions. Ace Sport, back to Bill Waits. Okay, gentlemen, you both aware the rules we're fighting under, is that clear? You have no questions at this time? Such gloves now in the last round, defend yourselves at all times, and listen to my commands. Good luck. Nice, Harry. 
Jason McCartney from North Melbourne here this evening, also a young man who will be playing a key role in the Kevin Sheedy well, tribute on Sunday, 415, 416 games, Matthew Lloyd. Good evening here, Matthew. Thanks for joining us here at Ringside. <laughs> okay. Yes, we welcome Mr. Tarek Selleck to ringside. Good evening, you, Tarek, and we look forward to your next big Thailand Australia extravaganza at the Crown Casino on the Sunday, August 9. Mr. Tarek Selleck, good evening to you and your team, Gorky and Oscar, and uh, watch out for the Crown Casino, Sunday, August 9. Matthew Lloyd was there last time. Good evening to you, Matthew. Seconds out, round two. In round two. On behalf of Joe Curcio and K Sport, Battle of the Big Guns, Mr. Hayden Mitchell. Good evening to you, Hayden. Thank you for supporting tonight's big Battle of the Big Guns. We're in about number two. We've had two rounds of our second middleweight contest. Goran, the danger man, Danilovich, working out of the blue corner, covering the preacher, working out of the red. Seconds out, round three. Thank <laughs> you. 
Would you come in the center ring, please? Stop it. Magnificent trophy. Lucky, could you come in the center ring? Lucky. Jeff Patterson, Daryl Bulldog, three grades from the Apple Isle. Thank you, Mr. Bart McCarthy. Ladies and gentlemen, by unanimous points, the winner, Red Corner, Perry the Preacher, Nicolou. Congratulations, Perry. Lucky to present you with a magnificent trophy. The bad luck there to Gordon, the danger man, Daryl Perry, lucky to present you with a magnificent trophy. Come on, give Perry and God on a big round of applause. They leave Simmering at the Melbourne Sports and Aquatic Centre. Perry the Preacher. Perry! Bit of music, and we'll be back with part number three, one of our feature attractions.
Ladies and gentlemen, King Sport proudly presents one of our feature attractions. It's women's kickboxing. In America, in Australia, in Thailand, Japan, and the United Kingdom. Kickboxing, women's style, and boxing is taking the world by storm. Don King locked in Christy Martin. She's become one of the biggest identifiable personalities in American boxing. You have your own Mike Tyson's, Evander Holyfield's, and Lennox Lewis's, and Oscar De Poitia. But Christy Martin has set the path, and many of our Australian women boxers and kickboxers are leaving Australian shores and going across the world. Will either of these two young ladies go across the world to take the Australian flag? Five rounds of women's interstate kickboxing set at Super Bantamweight. Ladies and gentlemen, will you welcome in the blue corner, scaring 53.80 kilograms. She hails from Balladura, Western Australia. 30 years of age with her mentors, Bill Seth and Rolf Shane. She brings in a center ring, a record of seven bouts, six wins, only one loss to decorated champion, Jelaine Osmond. She holds the WKA Australian Featherweight Muay Thai Championship, the WMTC Women's Super Featherweight Championship, making her debut in Melbourne, wearing purple with black. Would you welcome Marika, the banker, Williamson. Williamson. Across the ring, occupying the red corner, John Cheater, Jim Peake, and manager Paul Demacoli in attendance. The inaugural Australian women's professional featherweight champion, WKA Australian super featherweight champion, Niska South Pacific East Coast flyweight champion, the Queen of Sunshine, scaling 52.19 kilograms, 16 bouts, 13 wins. Would you welcome Laura, the Storm Skinner? Muay Thai, red, white, and black. Price foot whistle to give final referee's instructions. Five rounds of women's super bantamweight kickboxing. Thank you, ladies. You're both clear. You're both, you're both clear on the rules of body number. Do you have any questions? Okay, listen to my commands. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves now in the last round. Let's go. Great sportsmanship there by the two ladies. Paul, thank you. Great sportsmanship there by the two ladies. Okay, coming up for round... Round one.
Two ladies, King of Clubs, grab a little card on your seat, so to speak. Seconds out, round two. Come on, get behind Laura Skinner and Marie Williamson. In the state, West Australia, Victoria, Super Banner Wait. Women's kickboxing. Seconds out, round three. Hook 
Chanel and Pepper, the two ladies. Well, we. Seconds out, round four. Seconds out, fifth and final round. Come on, 
And we'll raise the roof here in the Melbourne Sports and Aquatic Centre. Fifth and final women's feature attraction, Super Bad and Weights. Eagles versus the Big V.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Jeff Christian King Sport proudly presents Super Heavyweights. Five rounds of kickboxing with a truly international and interstate flavor. Ladies and gentlemen, when you welcome on my left, last time in Melbourne, he lost, but it was to the current world champion, Slammin' Sam Greco. Since then, he's gone back to Kedron in Queensland and established a fine record of 22 bouts, 18 wins, two draws, two losses. He comes fresh from big wins over Nathan Briggs and England's Stuart Green. Would you welcome, ladies and gentlemen, he turns 29 next Wednesday, ranked number one contender in international kickboxer for the heavyweight championship of Australia, 102 kilograms at weighing at the Grand Casino last night, Pat Christoffi in the corner, Muay Thai trunks of red, white, black and blue, would you welcome the real deal, Bob Crawford, Queensland, red corner. Across the ring, occupying the blue corner, born in Tonga, now based North Sydney. Two years ago, he captured the US Super Heavyweight Championship in the United States of America. He brings a perfect record of 14 bouts, 14 wins, 11 big wins coming by way of knockout. Formerly ISCA Australian Super Heavyweight Champion, he won that battle at Shepparton on the George Vitus Show five years ago with his mentor Michael Keeley in the corner. Would you welcome wearing red with white, the Tornado, Nelson Taoni, New South Wales. Five rounds, Super Heavyweight. The referee in charge of the action, once again, Mr. Bryce, Bert Whistle, number one. Gentlemen, I spoke to both of you in the back room. You're aware of the rules. You got no questions? No one. Okay, listen to my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves now and in the last round. Let's get it on. Tony in the blue. You remember Nelson stepped into the ring on Tarek Selex, clashes the crown and challenged Sam Greco. Some people wondered what he was doing in there, but uh, <laughs> the official challenge went out. And a very important milestone here tonight for Nelson Tony and Bob Crawford. Doug Awebik is coming up next to Sam Solomon and Nick Tatoris. That'll be something to behold.
No smoking, please, ladies and gentlemen, inside the Melbourne Sports and Aquatic Centre. No smoking. Second touch, round two. Antonio, good evening to you, Lou. Thanks for joining us and thanks for the great hospitality, the passion of the crowd. Frank Bianco and Dave Hedgecock, The Rock, would you please go to the dressing room? Frank Bianco and Dave Hedgecock, they're certainly here tonight. Please go to the change room, dressing room. Now, Brandy, B R A N D I. From the King of Clubs, we'll be presenting the trophy at the end of this bout. Have a little brandy for me. Okay, brandy will be stepping in to present the winner's trophy. Winner's trophy. Second out. Round three.
Second out, round four, scheduled for five, super heavyweights. Bob Crawford, Red and Nelson Taoni in the room. to present the goodies on behalf of the Joe Casio K Sport. Don't be 
the real deal. Go and get Bob Crawford and Nelson Taylor a big round of applause and leave Suttery! Brandy from King of Cubs. Sorry? No, it's alright. Okay, Bob Crawford, come on, give our kept on Queensland man and Nelson Taylor from North Sydney. Okay, thank you, Michael. Nelson came in with an injured uh, left leg, and that hindered him somewhat, but uh, he'll be back again with many challenging San Diego. Okay, we can't talk Nelson because of time. Congratulations. Thank you, Nelson. Where's uh, everyone? Yeah. I'd like to thank you for uh, everyone who had to come here today, even though he doesn't want me to speak, but, uh, I'd like to thank all my friends from Sydney uh, who uh, even get to pass here and uh, all my friends from Melbourne. I can't make your name, probably the police will pick us up. But uh, <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you for the poor fight for the show. And uh, obviously I had the problem with my legs, so, but uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Okay, uh, good news for Australians. We sent the ladies from Australia taking kickboxing by storm in America and boxing tomorrow at Madison Square Garden. The Faith Garden Songo Oric dual women's kickboxing champion makes her debut at Madison Square Garden tomorrow on a big card featuring Leroy Jones and Tim Witherspoon. Good luck, Songo. And Danny Goodson heads to America to the Las Vegas Gymnasium top rank. In about 10 days' time to join Eddie Mustafa, Mohammed, Vince Phillips, the man who beat Costa Zoo, Arthur Williams, USBA champion, and also the recently, recently deposed WBC lightweight champion, Michael Johnston, all part of Eddie Mustafa, David Goodson's big top rank, Las Vegas Gymnasium. Also, Jimmy Thunder is part of that big team. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jim Curcio proudly presents five rounds of kickboxing set at middleweight. An eagerly awaited match, 
set down on the agenda many times, and it comes to fruition in simmering here tonight. Would you welcome, ladies and gentlemen, on my left, occupying the blue corner, Master Dana the Trainer, Fitzroy Stars, 27 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen, in all forms of boxing, he's got a tremendous record. 45 bouts, 37 wins. Iska Commonwealth Super Wonderweight, Iska Commonwealth Muay Thai Champion. He also holds a galaxy of other domestic East Coast and Victorian Australian Championships. 72.35 kilograms from Box Hill North, Victoria. White, right. red and black trunks, the gladiator, Nick Tatora. Tatora. In the red corner. He's freshly back from the Melbourne Crown Casino where he beat Money Focus on the Italic Sonic Clash with the Crown. Before then, he won a big battle in Boston, USA. He trains from the Underworld Gymnasium Banar Alley with Mr. T and Dave the Rock Hitchcock. Mr. T, we tapped him! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I look at his record tonight. What an amazing record in boxing, kickboxing, professional and amateur. 84 bouts, 71 wins, only 7 losses, 24 big wins by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, scaling in at 72.60 kilograms in the crowd casino last night. And would you welcome the rope of dope, the army shuffle, the red man, Sam. King Solomon! Solomon! Sam Solomon, Nick Katoris, Judges at Ringside, Mr. Joe Lanciana, John Pescucci, and Malcolm, Red Flower Bulldog. Good evening to you, Malcolm. Bright Spent Whistle. We give the final instructions. I've spoken to both of you, gentlemen. Do you have any questions? Listen to my command. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves now in the last round. Let's go. Good luck, boys. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you, Tanya. Now let's 
second row. Taylor, okay, Taylor. My word, not Mark Taylor, but Taylor. Deanne is the other lovely lady. Yep, okay, Deanne and Taylor. Lovely names. From the King of Clubs. Nice girl, certainly. Peter from the coming Viper Room will present the trophy in this bout. Second out, round two. Step up in the center ring to present the goodies at the end of this five rounds of kickboxing middleweight. A match that finally came to pass.
Second out, fifth and final round. Come on, get behind Sensal and Nick Tintoris. Get the final round. Majority points winner. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds in the middleweight kickboxing, we have majority points winner comes from the red corner, Sam King Sullivan. We're going to talk to Master Dana just briefly and Nick Kutura. Master Dana, not happy with that one? No, I thought they'd rip us off and give us a draw, actually, but they ripped us off even better than that. But hey, it's part of the game. Everybody there know who won the fight. You know, Sam know who won, Dave know who won, and we know who won. Good luck in America. Okay, Danny Goodson. Dave Hedgecock, Sam Sullivan. Sam, come in here and join us. 
Sam, how'd you see it? They're saying you didn't win, was... and you knew it. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Have a ball in there, and like always, we Nick's a good fighter, and God bless him if he wants a rematch, and try and prove that he can beat me. We'll go again, but uh, when I won the fight, I'm happy about it. Ah, uh, that was just a light from the tower. Accidental. Dave? I'd like to thank you the last Underworld Gym, black and blue. All my other sponsors, SEM, Prestige. Watch the class. And um, hope to see you all this month. Have my fight with the Thai. And um, I'll be on Sharma. And that one. I'm happy that um, Nikki, I thought, chose to fight me. I'm very, very, very hard to get fights. And um, God bless you. Good fire. Hope to see you all this month for my fight. 9th of August. Okay, Tadex, Alex, big show of the crowd going worldwide. Careful of your feet there. Okay, come on, give Sam King Solomon and Nick Tatoris a big round of applause. We're going to sweep this up before Chaco and Rene keep stepping here. Nick, come across the center ring. You gotta put some shoes on there. Nick, be damned if you lost. You were going to do that as Right, I didn't expect that to come and finish. I've been thinking that was for a week ago. I felt like I won't run around my corner. I believe it. Yeah, it's a good one. 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 Yeah, it's a I hope I can get myself better prepared for it. And um, thank you very much, and God bless everyone. And I'd also like to thank our sponsors, Versace, um, AST Research, for their wonderful products. I'd like to thank Glenn Hoburg from um, Heat Night Club. Also, my, my, my staff, my mom, my daughter, and... Um, Ten years! Ten years, Bob, come on! Thank you very much, everybody. Excuse me. God bless you all. Okay, very gracious. And good luck to Ben Coburn. He's like a, one of the world's great entertainment figures at the Crown Casino. Luke, you'll take people back afterwards, won't you? The Heat Night Club. Robert's Crown Casino. We're going to have a little pause inadvertently. We're just going to sweep up here. All right. Yep. Hey, Ed, you use this? Yep, we're going to have a short break. I love Sam. Okay, Sam the man. Sam Nessler. Sam Nessler. Also, Flash is saying there, good evening to you, Flash, former one of our great champions, living in Australia now, originally from Africa. Dave Willings was his mentor, former light heavyweight ace, Flash Shazango.
with the Jim Pierce here, Kate Sports. The Development Aquatic and Sports Centre, Sports Centre and Aquatic Centre, proudly present one of our feature attractions. The most talked about boxing match since Lester Ellis captured the World Championship and Barry Michael took it from him in 1985. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been sanctioned for the AFL, Australian Football League Super Heavyweight Championship. What great media exposure these two gentlemen have enjoyed. Monday night in Melbourne tonight with Frankie J. Holden, Jacko in Perth, Rene at the Underworld in Melbourne. Last night on the footy show, Channel 9, 750,000 people saw Rene King at the Crown Casino at the official way in Melbourne and Mark Jacko Jackson in Perth, Western Australia. Three rounds of boxing, your sole arbitrator, World Championship referee and judge, and also a couple of games representing Mr. Malcolm Bulger. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! We've got the best ringside seats in the house, it's a war for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, this super heavyweight contest, would you welcome in the blue corner? His mentor, Leo Berry, the great man who's worked with world champions, Kostya Zhu, Chef Fennick. He's been a legendary man, 50 years in boxing, Leo Berry. Ladies and gentlemen, this young man, originally from Ararat, now living, would you believe, in Richmond, 42 years of age, 180 AFL, BFL grands with Collingwood, Essendon, and Sikilda. He played in six grand finals. Last night at the Crown Casino, he scaled 116.80 kilograms. The former chief sparring mate of Jimmy Thunder, now based in Las Vegas. He's worked in hairdressing, now a landscape gardener. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome intoxicating, intricate, involuntary, impresario, the incredible Hulk Rene! Whites and black in memory of the great Collingwood Footy Club. Across the ring with Terry Fox from Adelaide, joining Laurie Flanders, the best ever boxing coach from Perth, Western Australia. He is a former South Fremantle, Melbourne, St Kilda, Geelong disciple of football. 308 goals in 82 games from 81 to 86. He brings in the centre ring already an undisputed boxing championship. He has, ladies and gentlemen, beaten Kim Madison, Peter Crackers Keenan. He's beaten Robin, Ronnie Andrews. He out-talked Jeff Fennick last week in Melbourne Town. Scaling 108.80 kilograms, wearing trunks, worn by the legendary Joe Louis of Orange and Red. Ladies and gentlemen, we want a decision in this bout. Would you welcome, ladies and gentlemen, recording star, gold digger, actor, TV pop idol, wearing the colours of France, purple, red and white, Mark Jacko Jackson. We have just been told this is a no decision exhibition fight. Bullshit! We've travelled across Australia to fight this fella. Be it good or bad, we want a result. Okay, three rounds, super heavyweight. <laughs> okay. your, your hand on the head will do us at the finish, do you understand? Okay. Ready? Ready? Your hand can do it. Okay. okay, ladies and gentlemen, final referee's instruction. Welcome to the ringside. Renate. Good I'm luck to both the fighters. The okay, the you wouldn't believe the toing and throwing, but we're here. Top six, it's 10.50. Put 11 minutes. Let's get it right. <laughs> we can't get it right on a Friday night. Friday night fever.
Another wrench. That's a big shot to go when you're hitting, you're hurting. Have See a wrench. Have a wrench. Have a wrench. Stop it. Stop it. You're a minute and a half to relax. Relax. When you're hitting, Terry, when you're hitting, you're hurting. You do let him go. Coming off that point. You've got to go straight across, Abby. There's some of the eyes in the pool. That's okay, that's part, part of boxing. That's part of boxing. won the first round, win this round. You yes. have to get across there. You've we'll got no we'll decision do bounce, you've got to stop him. Another wrench. Another wrench. Relax. Seconds out, Seconds out. Round two. Come on, raise the roof. Action Jackson and uh, the incredible Hulk. With you now, come on. It doesn't get me down. This, this is what on. makes it great. This is what makes it great. When you've got times like this, this is what makes you a great fight. Second out.
A lot of people said this would be a fiasco, a dud. It wasn't the real McCoy. Do you think it was? It was. Say no, it wasn't that sensational. A collective age of 80 years, 42 and 38, that makes 80. Come on, let's have a run kick at Mark Taco Jackson. They put themselves to a standstill. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd ask, Everybody is stand aside and Renee and Jago to come to the centre ring with referee Norman Bulldog. Come to the centre ring now, come with me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one final ovation for Jago and the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a draw contest. A draw. Good job. We won the first and the last man. Ron Reed, we couldn't separate them. Carl, we Were you happy about that decision? Who won in your opinion, ladies and gentlemen? I can't tell. Renee, you knocked me down the first round. You look like stopping you. You came back, but you showed plenty of heart and soul. You proved something to yourself in the Melbourne sporting public. Yeah, it's very hard to fight because you've got those real long arms and uh, I try to get underneath him, but you know, you can see he really grapples a lot. So it's very, very hard to come underneath and throw a clean punch. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed that, it was great. Renee, what tipped you to take up boxing? You, you started the Jimmy Thunder for a long time before you went to America. Who gave you that ingredient to take up boxing in a professional sense? Well, probably Wayne Bannister when I was a kid at Collingwood. Uh, I used to train in the summer. And then of course I went to Jack Rennie's and started sparring Jimmy about eight years ago. And uh, I learned so much there and dropped double, double from Bill to the pros, but <laughs> absolutely loved him. And for every other day it's been inside me. Renee, you had a lot of supporters here tonight. There was a lot of bad blood between you two guys leading up to the fight. Was that true? Uh, we've had our moments, put it that way. <laughs> And a lot of people here supporting you, a lot of old Collingwood teammates and a lot of footy people here tonight. Yeah, it's great to see, hey, football people, football supporters, but, you know, when you're black and white blood, it's hard to lose it. Black and white blood, sitting here, Renee. Oh. Yeah, well, great times there. Yeah. They want a rematch. Would you consider a rematch? Yeah, I always consider a rematch. OK, Leo Berry, a quick word for you. What's in this man, Renee King's heart, Leo? I've just seen it out there tonight. He's had all the guts he had when he was with Collingwood. There you are, it comes from the horse's back. Where's Jacko gone? Is he gone? Where's Jacko?
And would you welcome to Simmering? The Broad Pillows. Joe Curcio, Jenny Thomas and Paul Fifield. Thank you for your great support here this evening. Battle of the Big Gun. Disappointed I couldn't talk to Jacko, but he'll be back. Maybe a rematch when they kick. Helen Lee, on behalf of the team, thank you for supporting us here at the new Melbourne Sports and Aquatic Centre, Friday, July 17, 1998. We're now ready for our main event. Let's get it on. Judges are signed at ringside. Ah, Ignatius Miscellaneous, Clifford Heaver, and Bryce Bertwistle. When the bell tolls, your man in charge of the action, Malcolm Mulder, members of the Professional Boxing and Martial Arts Board at ringside. Bernard Palmer, Malcolm McGuinness, Bart McCarthy, Bob Todd. Your ringside doctor is Dr. Eric Chu and Dr. Tracy Peters. Thank you for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, eight rounds in the heavyweight division. Final eliminator for the title vacated by Aussie Joe Bookner. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome on my right, occupying the blue corner, former BAPA Victor and Owner Boxing Association amateur champion in professional boxing, 11 bouts, 7 wins, 3 losses, 1 draw, 6 big wins by knockout. From Robinos, Jamal Hassan, his mentor, ranked number 3 in the Fist Magazine Challenger, the vacant Australian heavyweight championship, scaling 94.55 kilograms, Red trunks with a touch of black. Would you welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the Rock Meadows Bomber, James Grimmer. Grimmer. Ladies and gentlemen, on my left, occupying the red corner, he comes from Avondale Heights. In kickboxing, he holds seven individual kickboxing championships from super middleweight to heavyweight. Recently back from France and Japan, where he had two big kickboxing wins. In kickboxing, 39 wins, four defeats, 22 knockouts. In pro boxing, he has four bouts, three wins. He beats Aram the Blade Barkley, three times genuine world champion. The only man to beat Thomas Holmes twice. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome, with Paul the Silver Fox Firefield, his mentor, scaling 95.10 kilograms, it's Tosca time, the King of Steam, Tosca Henry. Referee Michael Miller, in five instructions, Kristen Cronus will present the trophy, and good evening, Mr. Tom Rosales here at ringside. Welcome to Center Ring, gentlemen. Good luck. May the best man win. Shake hands and come on fighting at the belt. Thank you, Sia. Let's get ready to rumble. Eight rounds of boxing. Heavyweights. Round one.
In Paris and Martini, our two lovely ladies with our main event. Yep, Rabbit Card. And uh, our entertainment and our ring ladies have been very elegant this evening. Come on, James! Come on, James! Come on, James! Come on, James!
At the end of this bout, all exits will be open. All exits will be open at the end of the bout to allow you to leave quietly, peacefully, and in thoughtful resourcefulness. In memory of the great man of boxing, kickboxing, the king of clubs, Paris and Martini. Pop in the king of clubs, 20 King Street City. We thank Triple M for the great support. Eddie and Dermot, we thank the Crown Casino, the All Star Cafe. Also, Solve Communications, part of the K Sports new era of boxing, kickboxing here this evening. Second touch, round four. Joining us is Jeff Kersey and Paul Fyfield. We're in our main event. You've missed a lot of action if you've just arrived. 
Seconds out, round five.
Can you just check that box? Doesn't seem to be going into his eye. You've seen the rest, and now we're coming to the finale for the best. Paris and Martini from King of Clubs, thank you. Let's get it on, second chance, eighth and final. Come on, get behind Tusker and James. Last round. 
Thank you. 